it's Father's Day here in Lanzarote, so happy Father's Day to all the dads. And I thought I'd take a little walk down the Porta del Carmen strip because I managed to find a parking space, which is very rare. So I thought I'd show you a little walk down, have a look at some of the restaurants, see how busy it is. It's breakfast time, 11 o'clock. So people are just getting ready for the day. But it's getting busy here, middle of June. Um, it's usually busy June, July, of course. That's sort of peak season. Well, June's not peak season. It's usually a bit quiet now, but this year has been absolutely crazy. It's just been busy, busy, busy. It's the first holiday after lockdowns and things for a lot of people. So, when you do come, make sure to get your excursions booked in advance because they're gonna be full. We're already on about a three to four day wait for some things. And uh, in the summer, it's gonna be even, even more. Very popular area down here. Look, you've got shenanigans and the Buccaneer right on the corner. This is always a busy corner around here. And of course, across the road, you've got the access to the beach as well. Let's go take a little look at the beach and show you what's going on. It's not cloudy today, but there's a bit of Kalima in the sky. But it's, uh, it's gonna be a glorious day by the looks of it, roasting hot. You can see many have already got their sunbeds paid for. And the beach is already getting very busy. It is Sunday, so obviously a lot of locals come down to the beach on a Sunday. And this side, this side of the strip is uh, away from the hustle and bustle. It's a little bit quieter to walk on this side, but we can still see all the bars and restaurants, can't we? Not Maratoni's there. It's always busy for a bit of steak. Not as busy as the others for breakfast. Look, you've got the tavern. It's a busy breakfast and the sea view as well. Plenty of people in there. But on this side, it's a lot more relaxed. You can have a little wander down this side of the road, look. And uh, the only thing you've got to avoid is cyclists and scooters. <laughs> and you can have a sort of distance look at all the restaurants and decide which one you want to go in without being asked if you want a full English. So you've got the big Chinese restaurant as well over there there's loads of big chinese restaurants here this was one of the first ones to open and i think the success of this one led to about another four or five it tends to be the case in lanzarote that if one sort of type of business does well they tend to keep opening them and then you have sort of five of the same the same type of restaurant that is just doing okay which is a bit of a shame really. I think it should be regulated. I don't know what your opinion on, is on that, but you know, I think there should be a bit, a bit of variety rather than the same. But there you go, that's just my opinion. So you got a uh, Cantina Don Rafael as well, up that side. And you see lots of people around. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk as far as Route 66 and then we'll cross over and see what's going on down there. Now, one thing that I know I've discussed before is they built out, when COVID, when COVID happened, where these car park spaces are, because parking is terrible in Puerto del Carmen, they decided to build out these, these areas here. Um, so people could sort of sit outside when there was all the rules of only a certain amount of people inside and, and all that. So they built all these out and I thought they'd be gone by now. Um, I know they had to pay the town hall for them. So there was certainly a charge to do that, like a license or a table, table charge, but they've, they've kept them. Now, I don't know, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are, I think they're a little bit dangerous because you imagine a car coming down here out of control. I mean, it's not far from you enjoying a pint, is it? <laughs> and there's no parking spaces. There's at least 
10 to 15 parking spaces we've just walked past. But there you go. So you've got your mint shop as well here. We're going to cross over here and walk down the other way. Let's go take a look. Hang on. Make sure I don't get run over. So you've got your mint shop here. This sells all your designer, designer label stuff. So if you've got a bit of dollar, you can go in there and spend. And there's Route 66, look. Getting ready for the day. This is one of the biggest bars in Porta del Carmen. On the night time, it's rammed. Two pints of beer, four euros. You can't beat that. It's a busy on the night, that. And there's them tables outside as well. So loads going on. You've got the yellow elephant here, the fun grube. There's loads of them. If you see the yellow elephant, this is where you get all your duty-free perfume, sunglasses. They're actually really, really, really good shops. Um, quite cheap, but there's a lot of them. They're in every resort. And there we go. So there you go. That's Porta del Carmen for a Father's Day. Hope you all have an amazing day and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll be filming some more we're going to leave you at cantina don rafael which is meant to be a very good mexican any questions drop us a comment see you soon <laughs>